millions of Americans feed wild birds. In fact, the hobby of bird feeding has resulted in the creation of a multi-billion dollar industry, all centered around giving backyard bird watchers the best experience possible. Feeding birds in your yard can certainly be rewarding and entertaining, but it also comes with its own set of challenges. Among these challenges are a few that every backyard bird lover is sure to run into if they feed birds for a long enough span of time. Here are five problems you will encounter if you feed wild birds. Squirrels and Other Animals One of the most infamous enemies of those who put out bird feeders are squirrels. Squirrels are highly intelligent and acrobatic animals that are more than happy to take advantage of a free meal. Many times, backyard bird feeding stations end up becoming backyard squirrel feeding stations, much to the chagrin of the person wanting to attract birds. While information on how to deter these nimble seed thieves could be its own separate video, some things you can do include placing feeders away from trees that squirrels can drop down from, and attaching a squirrel baffle to feeders on hooks and poles to prevent them from being able to climb up. It's not only squirrels though that can be a nuisance at bird feeders. Animals like raccoons and even bears have been known to visit feeders and can damage or destroy them. The fact of the matter is that any feeding station will be attractive to way more than just birds. Non-native or undesirable species Another problem for many people who feed wild birds is the regulation of which species are most prominent at their feeder. There are a lot of differing opinions on this topic, as we found out from the wild array of comments on our video about 5 birds you don't want visiting your bird feeder. Some people want any and all types of birds at their feeder, and don't care what species they are. Other people are much more selective. Some of the reasons for having a preference for which birds visit a bird feeder include a perception that some species are bullies and chase other birds away, wanting to favor native species over non-native species like house sparrows, or simply wanting to see a particular species more often, and not wanting the bird feeders crowded with other birds. Whichever side of the fence you fall on, at some point, which species are frequenting your feeder will most likely be relevant to you, and potentially pose a problem. For info on how to keep certain species away from your bird feeder, check out the link in the description below. Monetary Costs One of the reasons people are so particular about which animals are coming to their bird feeders is because bird feeding can get expensive. With the price of pretty much everything going up, bird seed is no exception, and costs have soared in the past few years. While filling up a single feeder once or twice a week for a small number of birds isn't going to make too much of a dent in your bank account, supporting a thriving menagerie of different animals can create a serious crater. It also turns out that bird feeding can be somewhat addicting, with many people slowly adding more feeders and different types of feeders over time. Chances are, at some point you may realize just how much money you're spending on bird food, and the price that you're paying could potentially turn into a problem. Sick or Injured Birds Bird feeders can certainly turn into a hub of activity for a variety of different creatures. That can sometimes actually be part of the problem. With so many different birds coming into contact, illness can be spread from bird to bird by way of the feeder. Chances are, at some point you will notice a bird behaving strangely, such as being more sluggish than usual. You may also notice a bird with eye issues, a sign of something called conjunctivitis. While these can be one-off problems, if you notice more than one sick bird, you may need to take your feeders down and thoroughly clean them. Aside from sick birds, you may also encounter injured birds. With more birds hanging out around houses and other structures, window strikes are more likely. The good news is they are somewhat avoidable. Putting up some window decals can let birds know that the path isn't clear and steer them in a safer direction. As sad as it is, Someone feeding birds will almost certainly have to deal with at least one of these problems. Hawks and other predatory animals Another problem you will surely face when feeding wild birds will be the predators that are also drawn to the feeder, or rather, drawn to the prey that visits the feeder. Much of the time, these predators come in the form of other birds such as hawks and falcons. These raptors routinely stalk high traffic areas such as feeding stations, and can be a source of stress for people who grow attached to their backyard birds and don't want to see them killed. Of course, hawks and falcons need to eat too, and are a natural part of the ecosystem, so they aren't always a problem as much as they are a part of life for backyard bird lovers. That being said, 
If you want to know how to try and give backyard birds the best chance to survive an attack by a hawk or falcon, check out the link to the description below on a video all about the topic. It's worth noting, however, that it's not just predatory birds that pose problems, but also animals such as feral cats. Outdoor cats kill millions of birds each year, and can also be a big time issue around your feeder. Bird feeding can certainly be a fun and entertaining way to enjoy wild birds, but just like anything in life, it comes with its own set of problems. Have you experienced any of these problems? Which has been the most challenging to deal with? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.